May 16th, 2023. Charts are ever-evolving, aren't they? Things get a little crazier by the day. We're tracking it closely, though. Let's get into it. 786 Assassins. All right, good to see you back, Carolina Keith, Professor Keith, regular Keith, whatever you want to call me, just a dude. I don't really mind, whatever you like. But first, if you haven't done so, why not? Why not check out our Discord? It's free for general access. You can click over there for a whopping $8 a month. Well, I'd hate for you to go broke. In all seriousness, we make it cheap on purpose. It's just to filter out the crazies, honestly. We hardly make much money from it anyway. So, come check us out. Right here's the link. What are you waiting on? What's the what's the worst that could happen? Right here, 786 Assassin's Forge Life Half Off. You even get a proprietary month, a free month, whatever you want to call that. Proprietary is the wrong word, isn't it? You get a free month. How about that? <laughs> so, want to show you some different things that we've got that we've kind of been tracking and kind of developing and monitoring. I'm going to start with Bitcoin like I normally do, right? And then we'll transition into some other, some other assets that I've seen lately uh, that show me kind of a, uh, a change and shift of things happening rather than just show you the same thing all the time, right? To the charts we go. I've got Bitcoin pulled up first. Same thing we've been tracking for quite a while. We've had our steady uptrend that we've been riding. Bought 20,000, sold 31,000. Looking for my next spot to buy here. I did try to buy right through here. Uh, it wicked up and failed on me. I have since escaped that position and looked for a new one. We have a small bear flag forming right here, uh, which could break one of two different ways. Number one, this thing breaks north. If it breaks north, it has resistance to pin up against right at the 382 fib line, which we talked about last video, if you remember. That being a interesting point of contention. That level, 27,500 roughly, continues to be contentive. It's not even a word, but I just used it anyway. <laughs> right there, that level is going to be hard to break. If this breaks north, I expect a false breakout. False breakout, which will roll over and touch the trend and then potentially fill both of my orders that I have set here. What do I have my orders set for? I have them set for this level right down here why did i do that well good question let's dive into that for that answer i got the bitcoin cme chart pulled up here why well it's a little smoother and a little bit more consistent even though it closes on the weekends we have a clear head and shoulders shoulder head shoulder we have a clearly defined neckline it appears as though we have come back and retested said neckline right here it's a bearish formation i'm expecting a bearish push down where to well i got my buy orders set for the next available support zone Support zones are right here on the top of these candles, right through this zone through here. That was a terrible drawing, but you get the idea right there. Uh, that's why I have my buy zone set down here where I have it. Aside from that, there's even more stuff why I put the box where I put it. Here's some basic moving averages, right? 50, 100, 200 are yellow, blue, red. The 8 and 21 EMA are green and purple like I always have. As you see, candles are trapped underneath the 50 moving average, the 821 EMA, both all pinning the price down, pushing back against resistance on the bottom is not great. So you look for your next available support for the candles to run to and get caught. Now, this candle threw me off a bit, not going to lie. I expected this to close a little lower. You see the wick, the very well-defined wick that it formed out here. I didn't expect that to happen. I thought it would stay down a little farther and it might go a little faster than this. However, it's taking its sweet candy time. Nothing I can do about that. So the next failure of this head and shoulders, typically you have two. This would be your first failure and you, you typically get one more push down before you get your last failure. All right. And then you try to work your way out of that head and shoulders uh, by breaking through some resistance later. Uh, we haven't gotten to that point yet. Also, not only do we see some support down here, we also see the 100 moving average creeping up right here into my buy box. The next time you see a candle push down, one would likely assume that this box becomes a fairly reasonable target. Pivot points, fairly simple indicator to use. There's support resistance lines that are kind of mathematical. Uh, it's not very complicated for those who deny this. You're simply either super cocky, super arrogant, or you can't do basic math. 
And let me preface that by saying I have a hard time doing basic math. So if I can do it, you can do it. No one's a genius here. Now, the way this typically works is these pivot, lines, these pivot points will hit one by one. Test, fail, test, fail. Uh, you see a test here of S2, which was 26,600. All right, it actually pushed through that, but managed to close just at it and then above it. That bounced back to S1, which was 27,605. That's support level one. Now you're jogging back and forth in between the two. If and when we get a failure of 26,000, roughly 600, which is 26,5 basically, that leads us to our next available pivot point of S3, which is our lowest one, which is right at about $25,000 flat, which is right about where I have my box drone. How about the Ichimoku cloud, you ask? Well, Ichimoku cloud has been used for decades and decades. Uh, right now, we're still riding on the top of the cloud, but it's hanging on for dear life here. I'm not exactly certain this thing hangs on. As you see, the top of the cloud is roughly right there around 25,000. Almost flat, but not quite. It's 25.3 on the CME chart. And if I go to a different exchange, you'll see it's roughly about 25,000 on those. Nonetheless, you see the level that I'm looking at right there. Break into the cloud, tap the bottom of the cloud, and then we'll restart from there. So for the reference, here's Binance, Bitcoin, BTC, USD, right? Bottom of the cloud, almost exactly at my box right here, roughly 25.5, roughly 25, right? Uh, a wick or anything down here, muy gracias, I appreciate the cheap price. All right, everything I just explained to you was what we call confluence. When you have a lot of things that all add up to the same point, that confluence grows and gives you an interesting point of view for one particular area. It's not very complicated, all right? We do this a lot. I look for one spot that I think might be a particular place where a chart will go. And then I look and see if there's any confluence to back that up. And if there's not, well, I give that particular place that I'm looking for less of a yes and more of a no, all right? It's process of elimination sometimes. Sometimes I'm finding more and more information that leads me to a certain place. Right now that certain place is leading me around 25,000 feel free to do what you want not a financial advisor it's not financial advice up next quant as you see getting absolutely rickrolled by sale pressure here doing nothing but pushing it down lower and lower it failed the 382 fib on a big weekly time frame and now your next lowest level for this thing to potentially catch is around 96 dollars which happens to be roughly the swing low in November of 2022, which was last year, almost seven months away. All right, so that's a big drop. At the same, the same time, that's the next lowest support level. Um, when you can't break resistance, you will fail to support. If I pull up the weekly chart here, you kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, this 50 fib around 96 bucks, that's held pretty firm. Uh, the last several candles. I would assume it can hang on to this spot for the time being, uh, but we'll reassess once we get there. Uh, I don't have a guarantee on that, right? You don't, you're never guaranteed any of this stuff. Uh, but, you know, that, that level looks pretty contentious to me. Um, yeah, if it happens, it happens great. I'm not in quant, and I won't probably buy it until the bull market. Uh, I know a lot of people are kind of in love with this one, and I get it because you like the whole use case thing. I get it. Um, that doesn't matter when it's a downtrend. As you can see, this is still in a downtrend. It needs to break north before I really, really get happy about it. I might take a chance at roughly 95-ish, right? Just to take a chance at it. But I really don't want to get involved with altcoins right now. All right. A lot of times people ask me, what is price action? They don't understand what that means. Price action is the movement of the candles charted on the chart so we can see it and get used to it, right? Every chart kind of makes a little bit different chart pattern or price action. And you can kind of become predictable with what you see and what may very well happen. And Doge is an excellent example of that right here. Uh, you keep seeing these sharp moves up, right? Sharp move up, sharp move up. And I got this one drawn. But every time we get a sharp move up, we get an equally sharp move down. And it pushes the price action right back down. And you see it's happening right now, highlighted in red. The last uptrend is in green. The last downtrend that we're currently in is in red. Now, I will say that Dogecoin is threatening to break this red line, but it hasn't yet. And until it breaks this red line, I'm to assume it won't break. If we were on the other side of this, then I would assume it would stay above. We haven't done that, we're under it. As long as we're under it, I'm gonna to lean toward bearish. This white line that you see along the bottom here, it represents 
the long-term uptrend that this thing's been in since kind of June of 2022. I know it seems a little odd that it's not done much, but it continues to make highs instead of lows. All right. As long as that continues to happen, a touch on this white trend line down here and a run up would be excellent. All right. Last thing we got here, Litecoin. This is a textbook, excellent example of a beautiful price action playing out perfectly well. This is three touches on a trend all going up. Every time you get a low, people get big time spooked out. You get a bounce up right off the trend line. I've got them circled there for you. One, two, three, right? Now you've yet to make a higher high overall. It continues to struggle breaking this upper level here, which is about a hundred bucks flat. It hasn't cracked it yet. It keeps trying to, it's kind of rolling over and quitting. I'm a little pushed on this right now. It did break this downtrend, but it's running into some resistance already right through here. And there's more resistance up there at roughly 100. Is it worth taking the risk on the potential 10% for this to run back to $100? That's a tough call. Now, I did sell this to so this former buy line. It's already gone. All right. I haven't rebought it. I'm sitting in a ton of stable coins right now. I have nothing at the moment except stable coins. Um, waiting to see what this uh, particular price action happens with Bitcoin and the overall market in general. Uh, and I'll reassess. And I think Litecoin may suffer a little bit on the back end back here. Um, but right now, performing pretty well. With all that being said, thank you all for watching. Keep these videos short and sweet. I appreciate every single one of you being on here. Again, our Discord is right here in case you haven't ever get on. 786 forward slash half off. Description is in the link of the video. This will be on Twitter also. So just look at my bio for the link eight dollars you got promotions going on right now too you can get it even cheaper than that thank you all for watching i'll leave you with this in the words of the late great notorious big could have been anywhere in the world he chose to be here with me y'all will never uh, really understand how much i appreciate that thank you all on the live stream thursday be good peace